Okay, finally, I didn't forget to turn the um, camera around. Yep, yep, yep. Always multitasking, multitasking. <laughs> okay, let's put this down because I got a lot of work to do. So let's get on it. This is the kit that I want to get. And what happens is you take the blue stuff and pour it in there. And you take your copper wire and you put on it whatever piece of jewelry you've already put the conductive ink on. You see the copper? That means it's going to turn whatever you put that conductive ink on copper. So we're going to pretend to put our little thing there. Hi, cup of tea. So you have on a separate wire your ring or earrings, pendant, whatever, and you're going to hang it from here into the blue solution. And then you take your electrodes. This is a new way of doing it instead of the huge three shoe boxes stacked on top of each other kind of meter. They narrowed it down to this nowadays. Thank you for my thumbs up. Greatly appreciate it. So, you're going to take that little meter, you're going to put an electrode on a piece of copper, electrode on another piece of copper, one for positive, one for negative, obviously, and start the machine. When the machine starts, whatever's in the blue is going to eventually have a copper coating on it. This is what I have longed to make for many, 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 many years. Oh, hi, Alicia, how are you? Alicia. Oh, I gotta go join this channel. Sorry, I haven't done that. I apologize for not knowing that before. Have you heard of electro forming jewelry? That's what this is, and it's good to see you too, sister. Though I gotta tell you, I'm still gonna probably see more of you on uh, Tasha Loves You channel because for whatever reason, yeah, you know YouTube. It's always something. So instead of complaining about it, I'll just go back to my original channel where I can subscribe to people and comment and everything goes through with no problem. This channel is different. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to complain. So, see there's the bar. One clamp holding the bar, the other clamp holding the bar. The electrodes that go to this meter... that charge the blue liquid and once the stuff in the blue liquid that hanging whatever you're going to be turning copper into turning into copper is dangling in the water uh, in the blue solution which I of course have forgotten the name of <clears throat> there you go electroforming solution well it's a something 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 oxide yeah and it's so long I I forget how to pronounce it so <laughs> but this is my my goal and this is my goal right now so if you guys see me on every social media platform begging for donations this is why okay this is why yeah a girl just doesn't have you know right now that anyway so that's why your girl needs a little bit of help now she only chooses to use natural stuff in her uh, jewelry, I believe. So she makes jewelry out of like leaves and twigs and branches and acorns and whatnot. So, you know, to me, this is very exciting. Of course, I'll be working with crystals mainly and little bits of wood and probably a feather or two every now and then. So this is the kit that I'm going to need. <clears throat> so as you can see in, in her beautiful drawing here, that's how it's going to work. So this is the space that I am creating for that. And I, as you can see, I already got my stuff almost together for something that I'm gonna do for my sister. So I was watching, um, let me see if I could fast forward. Is it, it is so amazing, but you know what, sister? 
this is something I saw many, many, many years ago, but I didn't know what the name of it was. And you know, a lot of people, when you're standing in line at the grocery store, don't want to talk to people and stuff like that. So I wasn't uh, going to try to be rude to anybody else. Let me just see if I can fast forward to the picture of what I'm going about, what I'm about to do right now. Okay, see, so he took some stones. He used... Uh, uh, okay, let me go back. He used this glue with baking soda, which I'm going to show you in just a few minutes, to get everything to stick together. But he uses um, drawing paper because he's about to put this conductive paint on top of it. Hi, Keith. Hi, 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 hi. Looking pretty as you want to. Mm-hmm. I be keeping up. But I try to keep up faster nowadays, so forgive me if I don't always comment. Uh, so by the time you put the conductive paint on it and then set it down in the bucket, that's what whatever the copper whatever the copper, whatever the conductive paint is on is going to turn it copper. So in the meantime, until I get enough donations to buy this, this is what I am going to be doing a little piece of today for Mother Sister. Put, a, um, put some pep in her step today. So I'm going to be looking for, uh, come on, come on, come on, see, he glued them all together and, and then cut it out, put some electro forming, uh, put some magnetic paint on it. Cut that out the paper. Put some um, conductive paint on it. There's the baking soda he put on top so the glue, glue will dry instantly. And then, see there he is putting the glue on top. Who said a cup? Did I just say a cup? I hope not. And then he put some more uh, there, glue on top of it and some more baking soda. So, after you put the conductive paint on it and all that other good stuff, it's going to look like that. And then he cuts the paper off around it. And then you put the conductive paint on it. See, like that, after he cut the paper off. You put the conductive paint on it, drop it in the blue solution stuff. And then it's going to look like this. See, this is what I have been looking for for years and years and years and years and years. And I'm so happy. I finally found out what it is. Okay, let's turn around and get this. Well, I, I, <laughs> I thought I was recording and I wasn't. That should tell you how excited I am. How excited I am to get started on this process, you know. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so amazing. Oh, a cup, sorry. <laughs> See, I need to relax my booty down. I'm just so excited to be still begging for donations to get this. Let me turn you around before I put you on here. Still begging for donations to get this. And I'm going to get it. And then you guys gonna be like, how should make me this? Let me send you this leaf that I got off my grandma's uh, deathbed thing and make a necklace out of it. And I'll be like, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Why not? You know? Why not? Okay, so there's my table. This is my new space that I'm working with. Now I gotta get all my my vitamins and pills and stuff off of here. Put them in my handy dandy basket because if I don't, if I don't see my medicine, I forget to take it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Put that up there. I need to see that. 
and my beets will put up there. That's going to go right there. And all my other little oils are going to go down in there. It's amazing the crazy things we often forget versus the things that we remember all the dang time. This is my kind rub for my knees. You know, you can't go there. You got to go over there. Okay, you're going to go back there because you, is that tight? Yeah, that's my peppermint oil. And my biotin for my hair and nails. Okay, there we go. Oh, okay, that wasn't so bad. Now, let's put that down there. Let me wipe that off. Let me get a towel. Talk amongst yourselves. What's your favorite crystal? So soon as I get enough donations, I am gonna, I'll probably be going live all the time then so I can show you guys why this is so exciting. And yes, mother, sister, when you see this, I do have a piece of sterling silver that I will dunk in the blue stuff instead of copper. So it'll turn whatever you want silver. Okay, I have some light. Did I plug that in already? Yes, I did. Okay, we got light. We'll have workspace. It's nice and clean now. Put that in the lower tree. I'll toss my feather over there. Okay, so right now, we're gonna do this as soon as we go to the altar and get some crystals for Mother Sister. Take this back to the kitchen. Leave that there. Okay, put my glue there. This is not just for lining your drawers, let me tell you that, okay? So, that's gonna go there like that, like that, like that. And I'm gonna bring stuff up close to my face. So, I'll put that there to work on, and then I'm gonna get a little piece of paper. Yep, that dried up. Oh, they did dry pretty fast, actually. Um, so this is my space I'm creating. Let's go. It's my battery. Come on. Come on. 43%? Oh, I'm good. I'll plug that back in in a minute. Let's go to the altar and get Mother Sister some rocks. And it's such a beautiful day. You know I already got all my windows and doors open. Okay, my door open. And the fan going because I like circulating air. And let's just get her something good. Let's see. What are we going to get for Mother Sister? I want to have... A nice size piece. For her. Can you see? Yeah, you can see. Look at that mica in that black tourmaline. Isn't that beautiful? That's why it looks white. It looks like uh, aluminum foil. Or if you're in the UK, aluminium. <laughs> That's how my son says it. Aluminium. Um, so, sorry, I forgot to turn notifications off again. Uh, no, I don't want that piece for her. Oh, but she might like it because there's silver in it. Okay, let's take that one for her. How's that? Oh, who's that? What can you say? Amen. Thank you. Let's manifest it. Thank you, Keith. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, please. Um, 
Yeah, because, you know, a girl deserves to have her second childhood, and this is mine, so let's get on it. I mean, it's not like I... Okay, so two people have given me donations, right? That's why now I only need $250. Um, because, you know, if you give me a dollar, I'm going to put you on the list and make you something for free to, to say thank you back. I mean, come on. It's not like I'm never going to not give you back something. Okay, so... Uh, we're going to put that on, on her pendant, and then I want, like, two other little ones to go on the right or and or left side of this. Oh, you know what might be nice? Something, oof, out of here. Here, let me put you down, if I got room. Okay, wait, I got to make room. Oof. Keith, did you see my new chair? Look at my new chair. Yay! Finally, I've lived here for two years, and I finally got my chair. <laughs> uh, okay, you need to move over, honey. You need to move over. Move over. Okay. There. So this is my, um, as you can see, little bowl. Thank you, Jamie, uh, from Beating on a Budget. And this is what I keep my little tiny, teeny, tiny, 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 teeny, tiny, tiny babies in. So let's pull some of this big stuff off of here so I can get to the teeny, 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 tiny ones and see what we got. Let's hook it up. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Maybe a little citrine. Oh, that's not citrine. Oh, it could be citrine. It could be citrine. Mm, 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 mm. I think this was rose quartz, but you know, some stuff like amethyst, if you leave it out in the sun for a long, 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 long time, it'll turn to look like clear quartz. Oops. Oh, yeah, let's get some color up in there, some amazonite. Yes, yes, I think she might like that. You hear that? That's the chiming crystals, yeah, Keith? I still am adding stuff to your, I'm, I'm going to add, have to have like $20 for postage by the time I get through with your box, and I'm sorry, you know, things have just been tight, as mama would say. Uh, what else? I know I have some bloodstone in here somewhere, oh, give her a nice little piece of soda light. And maybe, well, there's a nice piece of rose quartz. Is it a bead? No, good. Okay. So that's one, two, three, four. Oh, let's see if we can shove some amethyst on there, too. Let's try it. Ah! Don't drop it, Tosh. Oh, I wanted you to see this other part. Turn over there, that part. Amethyst. Okay, so. I gotta invest in some little tiny, tiny, tiny bits of uh, hematite. Well, let's start with this, shall we? Let's start with this. Okay, let me put all my big pieces back on top. Including my glue. Glue and lip balm I just leave everywhere. Go back there, boo boo. Let's take you pieces and try to arrange something good. Oh, this is just such fun. Okay. Oh, forgot to set my chair up. Let me go get my chair. Plug one light in. Let me plug my other light in. Before I sit down and forget. 
Maybe I'll plug in both of them. No, that's kind of... I like the light from this bulb. I need to plug the other one in. There and stay. All right, let's see how that's gonna work. Where's my paper? There's my paper. Okay, I don't know, but let's let's give it a shot, shall we? There and there. Wait, move over. There we go. Okay, let's see how this is gonna work. I don't know. Well, I suppose if it sticks to glass, I could always just get the razor blade and cut it off. Sorry, princess. How do I want to do this? I don't know. Let's see. Uh. have anything else to put you up on to see that better there how's that there okay I gotta get another box for you to sit on top of. Oh well, I'll have to think about that later. I'm sorry. Is that too much light for you guys? Well, it helps me see fine, so sorry. Don't wanna just leave it cluttered, clustered like that. Let's put you down and we'll put the square in that little niche right there. Amethyst, you go on that side. Rose quartz, you go on that side. How's that? I don't know. Oh, decisions, decisions. Oh, sorry, I guess I could do it that way. <laughs> sorry. Hi, hi, sister. This is from Mother Sister. What do you think? I'm just so excited. I, can't, I need to slow down. I'm just getting so ahead of myself here. I'm just, <laughs> okay, wait, let me see. Okay, wait. All right, that's good enough for you guys. I'll, I'll do it your way. Okay. Okay, so sister, this is black tourmaline with mica on it. Rose quartz, soda light. Now it looks like lapis. Okay, wait, let me see. No, it's so dark. Amethyst. Wait, got to put the amethyst part up. There you go. And Aventure, uh, uh, Amazonite. Hi, cute stuff. It's going to be another masterpiece. Well, of course, it's going to the queen. It has to be a masterpiece. I like the pink and blue. Thank you. Would you want me to make you a pendant out of that rose quartz? And I believe truly this is um, uh, soda light. I thought it was lapis, but it's it's soda light. Okay, so let's see how this is going to work. Oh, I forgot. He put, wait, let me scoot it over. Let me see. He put the glue down first. Oh, and let me get another piece of paper because I don't want to have to clean up that damn mess of baking soda. I know, let me put that right there so I can just pour it off. Okay, okay. Um, all right, here we go, guys. Thank you for going through this with me.
don't know why I'm nervous. <laughs> but you know, I'm always nervous the first time. Okay, that should hold. I think that should hold all of them. Anyway, I'll cut off the excess later. Don't forget to put the top on, Tosh. Thumbs up, please. Thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't already. Baking soda. You guys missed the first part. Now, this baking soda is supposed to instantly harden the glue. That's why Jason Welch told us to do it that way. Do it that way. Get over there. Thank you. It's already hardening, wow. Okay, whatever. Okay, there we go. Oops, stay around, stay. I hope you can see it. I can't see if you see it or not. Okay, next. Okay, don't you move. We're gonna get the baking soda. Let's put this on here, so hopefully I don't have a big mess on my hands. Okay, let's move that over there, get the trash can, let me dust it off, oh, I did pretty good, okay, and hopefully the whole thing doesn't fall in the trash, <laughs> oh, I guess I could put it back in my container, huh? <laughs> Thank you, Jason. Oops. Look at that. There you go. Some of it is still... Oh, wait, no, I shouldn't put it on now. Okay, so now, oh, wait, hold on. Okay, let me see. Okay, that looks good. I'm doing pretty good, if I do say so myself. Okay, let's put a little bit more glue in, in between. Wait, which one came up? One of them. One of them lifted. Oh, it's already dried. It stayed down. Okay, good. Okay, good. Come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <gasps> okay, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> oh, it's still lifting anyways. Okay, so let me hurry up and lift it. Put it back down. Oops. Well, let's put some more. I want to have a nice little ridge in there to keep the stones together. I think that's pretty good. I don't know. This is my first time. We'll see. Okay, let's have a little bit more. A little bit more is what I like. Okay, let's see if I can do it this time. baking soda is good for everything <laughs> yay look <laughs> okay let's move that out the way so don't knock it over okay okay you can stay there glass i wanted you to balance me but i think i'm doing all right 
Maybe we don't need that light either, huh? Let's see. Okay, it's a little dark. How about, how about, how about that? It's going to be, wait. It's going to be um, a pen. Oh, you're right. Maybe I should make it a ring, huh? Oh, thank you, sister. Yeah, you're right. Thanks. <sighs> okay. Let's get some skizzers. Uh, we'll use that and uh, that. Or maybe just this. You're right. I should make it a ring. some more baking soda <laughs> uh-oh 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 all right let's just do this shall we let's just do something like that. I don't know. I'm, you know, I'm just trying something, y'all. I don't know. To get it on the bottom. <gasps> get that glue dry. Stay. <sighs> Instantly dry. I <laughs> just love it. Look at that. It's dry. It's dry. <laughs> Okay, that's a little sticky right there, so we'll just roll your bottom around. Ah! Oh, let's put some over there so that instantly dries. I can stop touching it. Damn. Okay, Tasha, be careful. I'm getting out of my clothes. Okay, there. Look at that. I should have turned it around. Where am I? Look at that. Now it has to be appended. I don't want the hole to show in her ring. Damn it. See, because in the beginning, I was just thinking of a pendant. You can't see the hole in the bead. Okay, let me clean this off. Oh, what an ash can. Side. Now let's see. If I could cut that excess. Oh, look at that, y'all. <gasps> oh, oh, that glue was wet. That glue was wet. Holy shit. Oh my god, don't ruin my good scissors. Hey, I keep everything for life because I only want to buy it once, okay? So, okay, see, so now, here, I'm going to just do this right now. Oh. Oh, I need to turn the fan on, huh? I forgot about that. God for YouTube. Wow. Okay, let's get the rest of this off of here. If it's going to come off, I might have to use a bzz bzz. Mm-hmm. I might, I might, I might, I might, I might. 
Okay, now you're supposed to be done dried by now. Come on. Wipe your butt, wipe your butt. Look at that. Ah, that's what it is. Okay, let's put some more. Let's put some more, more, more. Ah! Come on. Thank God most glues come off with <laughs> soap and water. Still not dry? Okay, now, okay, it's moving a little teeny bit, but are the other ones? Let's see. Nope, the other ones aren't moving. Okay. Would you stop? Oh my goodness, come on. You're supposed to be done dry by now. Oops. Oop, oop, oop. <laughs> well, <laughs> thank God this is fun for me. <laughs> Oh, I see. I didn't push it down enough. I see. And so it, the starts be underneath the paper. Oops. <sighs> Have the glue that's pushing out. Silly me. Because it wasn't flat. <sighs> there we go. See? It's going to be a beautiful pendant. Let's get started. Now, what, how am I going to cover that up? I don't know. Ah, border wrap, of course. How silly of me. Okay, let's clear that off. Put you over there. Okay, so we all dry now? Yeah, I need to go wash my hands. Because a, a girl needs her fingers. There we go. You can go back in the ash canyon. Exacto, didn't need you after all. You know what I would like to do? Oh, actually, it's not going to matter because if I, where are you? I'm going to do a border wrap, which is going to be a pretty thick wire weave to go all the way around the outside. And then to cover up these spaces in between, I'm going to probably try to use some wire design on the inside to cover them all up so you don't see... The white baking soda. I think that looks pretty good, don't you? Okay, let me just see if I can take my X-Acto knife and get some more of this off around the edges. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Had I not, had I thought better of it and put that Amazonite where, maybe I could cover that up with wire too. If I do, it, let me think. If I do a border wrap and then I could, technically then I could just glue the whole thing to the shank of a flexible ring. What? Are you still there? Oh my goodness. Here, there. Are you happy now? There. Be happy. Go outside and play. <laughs> what? You? Okay, there. There you go. You happy now? Anything else? We're good? You sure? Just checking. Okay, what about that right there? A little dink dink? Okay. <laughs> okay. Cool, okay, so, no, I still gotta put that back on the other table. The glass can stay here, though. And you can stay on the glass, how's that? Because eventually you guys are gonna be right here every single day. Look at that. Oh, sorry. I'm like, 
make a nice ring, huh? She might like a nice big fat ring. Okay, let's get some more of these edges off. The more you clean up now, the less you'll have to do. Yeah, my mother is forever ringing in my head, you know. And then, you know what we're going to do next, right? I need to get the bzz, bzz but I don't want to do the bzz, bzz because it's going to be really loud for you guys, so. Now we're going to get the, we're going to get the, um, Oh my gosh! No, 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 Oh, I hate it when people do that. No! Remind me of two-year-old. Note to self, make sure everything is level. <laughs> well, he did say, let it dry overnight. <laughs> but you know me. Yep, in a hurry. Okay, let's go back over there. I'm going to let you sit there for a second. I'm going to open the window and turn the fan on. I don't usually get lightheaded over stuff, but... Better say. Okay. Oh, let me get the shank so you guys can see it. Um. wire wrapping then I will get some epoxy because I already know it works I already know how to use that you know this is a shank this part of your ring see how it's going to be flexible so then I will take that when I'm finished wire wrapping it and epoxy it down I don't know, sister. What do you think? See, and the rest of this, of course, is going to be drying <laughs> as soon as I put it down to start. I've been using one of these on my face, by the way. Lightly, of course. Get all those ingrown hairs to pop out. big sandpaper. Oh, it's in the closet. You remember when um, my sister Paula gave me a metal clay kit. Metal clay, I love to do that medium every single day. But the clay for a little 
like one ounce piece of clay is like $60. So that's why I don't do that yet. Let's see how that looks. Looks pretty good. Okay, you stop. I know, I know, I'm learning, I'm learning. Yeah, that's better. Oh, you're still going to come up? Oh, that's fine, come on. I gotta go wash my hands and try to peel this glue off anyway, so. <laughs> there. Who knew baking soda could be used for so many things? <laughs> I am really loving that. Thank you, John. Uh, John I was gonna call him John. Uh, Jason. Well, Electroforming, oh shoot, I forgot the name of his company, but I'll make sure I put his link in the description. Let's see if I could just make a nice, cute little, I can't, okay, I'll wait for you to dry, and then I'll do it, because now I'm sure I have to get more, yep. I know I should have prepared. <laughs> Ahead, made one last night. <sighs> Get off. Thank you. Is that wet? Well, just in case. good okay let's see if I can get that little bit off right there flat on one side curved on the other I gotta clean my diamond head bits today after this is over Thank you very much. Get off of there. I'm wondering. This is on here pretty hard. Maybe I can get off. I'll soak my hands later. Put a new blade on later. It's pretty smooth, but Not that you're really going to see it over here anyway, but that's okay. I still want to make stuff nice and smooth as possible. Get out. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And just in case, I'm not going to stick my finger there. In there you see and then I would put that uh, black 
paint, magnetic paint all the way around, hang it on something and then dunk it in that blue solution for the black paint to turn copper or silver. I don't know if that paint would adhere to this paper, but you know I'm going to find out, right? Hi, 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 sister! Okay, so let me catch you up. Good thing fingerprints grow back. I've already been fingerprinted in the police department anyway, so it's not like I need them anymore. <laughs> we are, that's why I'm hurrying up trying to peel this off so I can feel the clicking of my mouse. Okay, so. Nah, I'm used to it after all these years. Oops, sorry. Keep forgetting not to rotate the device. Okay, so this, I went and got some stones for my sister. Where am I? Jeez, this thing is slow. I used this glue that Jason told me to use. And baking soda to make the glue dry instantly. I'm putting together this cluster for my sister, who would love another big, fat, huge ring. This is a shank that's resizable. She likes silver, so I'm doing that for my sister. And the reason why I'm asking for all these donations is because I want... Oh, it went off, off. Oh, jeez. Well, you guys get to see what a beautiful day we're having in Las Vegas, California. Oh, Las Vegas, Nevada. Yeah, I still think I'm in California most of the time. <laughs> People ask me where I'm from. San Jose. Uh, I'm from San Jose. We just moved to Las Vegas. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my gosh, I'm so, 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 so excited. So I got some donations already. I'm very excited about that. Of course, I'm down to only two hundred fifty dollars. <sighs> Tasha, Tasha, Tasha. <laughs> to oh wait, this is the end result. This is the guy I was just showing them. That uh, is the guy who taught me how to do the glue stuff, and then except he uses drawing paper because after that he's going to be using this. Come on. Wake up, honey. Come on. You don't want to? All right. We don't have to. Well, it's black magnetic paint. And once you put the black magnetic paint on and you dunk it in the blue solution, which is a oxide. I know, honey. I'm sorry. Wakey, wakey. Come on. Wake up. You could do it. Come on. Oh, it takes me and her so long to wake up these days. <laughs> there. So this is the this is the kit that I'm asking people invest in my company. And this is what it's gonna look like once I get it set up on its new station. So I'm gonna take I would then take that piece. I would put some magnetic conductive paint on it wherever I want it to be silver and or copper and then you dunk it in you pour the solution in here put hang it from the middle rod and then you have a, a negative conductor that goes on top of whatever you want to turn copper or silver and then you have the positive one to put the um, electricity through the solution via the copper rod because you want something copper so you need some copper if you want some silver then I would put a piece of sterling silver in there to turn whatever silver and then 
you turn the electricity on and it zaps it at a low, 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 low electrical zap. The lower the zap, the smoother the texture is going to be. And I don't like the bumpy stuff like my teacher here. He likes he likes the bumpy look. I don't particularly care for the bumpy, 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 bumpy look. Where is it? You see, all of his, mostly all of his jewelry is bumpy, bumpy looking like that. You see? Here, it's bumpy, bumpy. I don't like the bumpy, bumpy. And even, um, let me see. Where's the very first one? If I can catch it before it starts playing. Oh, here, look away, look away. <laughs> okay. See his all of his jewelry is pretty bumpy looking. Okay, look away. Let me turn the sound off, of course. And get to another part of the picture. Okay, there you go. See he, he likes his stuff bumpy, 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 which means his the blue solution. Come to find out, it means this blue solution stuff is basically dirty. So it builds more deposits. So this is why you see me begging and begging and begging. So then let's take, for example, LSP. You're out there in the wilderness doing your afternoon walk, and you, and you find a stick, a piece of bird shit, a you know, flower or something, and you send it to me and say, here, Tasha, you know, put some you know, copper on this. And I want it as a pendant. And then I would do this process. and take it from a regular looking acorn to a not regular looking acorn and that's what she likes to do she only does uh, this lady who put this kit together and selling it for a really stupid low low price yeah um, she just she only does uh, nature stuff that's all she does. Isn't that amazing? And you know, all these years, I wondered what that was. I didn't know what it was called. Until I said, what is this called? I have a little uh, wand that's out on the altar. And she says, well, it's either Tiffany soft soldering or it's electroform. And I have the Tiffany soft soldering kit. It's not that. Don't get me wrong. I use my kit. Thank you, Brenda. <laughs> I use my kit on um, other stuff. And I'll be using this for to make little like wands and stuff like this. So even for this, if I wanted to have that nice thick line going going through all the creeks and crevices, like to like to make it look like it's holding it together, I now know all I got to do is take that uh, magnetic paint, thicken it up with it because it, it's uh, with a brush, so it you know it's nice thick layers. And then dunk it in the blue solution, and poof, there you go. Lines throughout. Okay, let me plug my charger in before I forget and talk too much. Because now we're going to get started on some wire weaving. Yes, yes. Let me plug it in. Okay, turning sideways real quick. And we're back to normal. Oh, i got to turn you around. Where are you? There you are. So, back to what I'm going to be doing, and I'm so excited, I can't wait! So, I'm getting my space, I cleared this space off, to prepare for my kit. And now I need to soak my hands, because they're full of glue. Oh well, I've got a lot worse things on my fingers. And yes, I've glued my fingers together many, many, many days. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Any day now. You guys are going to get so bored just sitting right here. <laughs> Watching that electro form form. And then I'm gonna have to have two, one for the copper, one for the silver. 
so even though it's what two twenty-five, I wanted the other the other money to buy little buckets so I can have my because you know once you open that stuff, you have to put it in sealed airtight containers. And then it should even that little tiny bottle you saw of the magnetic ink that should last for a long, long, long time. Okay, that's better. I know, I know, I know. I should have put the glue on, the gloves on first. up as my mother would say clean as you go clean as you go okay that's pretty hard now maybe this will come off okay let's put really do it aside you go on the glass Sensing coulda, shoulda, woulda in. I know better now for next time. And the baking soda went through the holes anyway. This stuff is great for more than just lining your shelves, folks. Just so you know. All right, let's see how that looks. Yeah, I'm gonna put on a movie tonight and after dinner, then um, I'll soak my fingers. Where's my other little fan? It's over there. There's another one someplace. Yeah, I need to set it right here so as I do this, it could blow away. I think that looks pretty good though. Now, he said to use a uh, drawing paper, which obviously I don't have. Ah, good to know it's already dry. To, um, because he'll put the black uh, magnetic paint on the back for the copper to stick to. Right? So, well, I'm not sticking anything yet until I get my kit. Trust me, you will know when that day comes. Okay? You won't hear me screaming no matter what state you're in. As I make my border wrap, I'm going to put it, I'm filing this down so of course it'll be able to catch and stay formed nicely all the way around. And then I'll probably do it two or three times just because she likes big stuff. Thank God. Don't get me wrong, I like making tiny stuff too for you people that like it petite. But I'm a big girl, and I usually like most of my stuff chunky. There. See, so I've gotten a lot of the paper away from the edges. And if she hear, she say, of course, I love everything you make me. <laughs> Which makes me feel like a little kid, you know. <laughs> when you, uh, hey, Greer, it's so nice to see you. Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> Leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> it's in the closet. <laughs> do you do electroform? By chance? Greer, oh my gosh, how are you? How you been? What you doing? Mm. 
mean, hopefully I'll cover up that little circle. No? Okay. I'll cover up. Oh, shoot. Sorry. That little circle. See, I should have turned it the other way. And it would have made a better ring. So even though it shows, I'm going to attempt to cover that up with wire. Looks pretty good. I still need my Dremel, but I don't want to make the noise, you know. So that's okay. I'll do that after I finish the wire weave. When you guys are in bed sleeping, probably around 3 o'clock this morning. nice and smooth. See, and then I'll take my next um, down, uh, higher number for sanding and smooth, smooth it all out. Smooth it all out. Make sure it's nice and smooth before I put the wire wrap on. That feels good. Oh, there's a little bump. And even though it's going to be covered up, you know I said that I make sure it's going to be smooth. Okay. All right, come on, diamond tip. Let's go. Let's go to work. Get in that groove, baby. Get in that groove. Say a prayer that somebody needs to invest in a new venture. Me. Oh, that feels good. Okay, a little bit more right there, Tosh. Gotta use a finger that don't have glue on it. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm getting all the crevices. This is why we take so many pictures. Oh, see a little bit right there. Need to get that out. Let me see. Yeah, a little bit right there. Mm. I'm making a Ring, Greer. I'm happy my sister likes big, chunky stool. Oh, the other good thing? Okay, see, now I'm going to be able to finally... Okay, because I, I just don't do unks well. And she really loves... Yes, I... Yeah, you see? Loves her unks, right? I mean, she's got, I think, two, two unk tattoos on her body. Uh, okay, really, I just think it's just one, but anyway. Um, so now, I'm going to be able to take a piece of cardboard, cut out a nice, big unk. Nice, big unk. I put the magnetic paint on it, dunk it in solution, poof, copper, or poof, silver. There you go. Okay, I'll do that later. Okay, wait. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Maybe we'll sharpen my knife while I'm here. Okay, where else? That's nice and smooth. I'm gonna leave that alone. Mm, okay, a little bit right there. Okay, okay. Oh, I'm so excited. I have faith that before midnight, I'm gonna order my kit. And you guys are going to see a Tasha you ain't never seen before. Ever. Let me like 
You were under there? Oh yeah, you just wait, honey. When oh you should have saw me. You guys gotta go back and see my play videos. What channel am I on? I'm on Tosh on Taste with Tosh. I think I'm on Taste with Tasha right now. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's on it's on um Tasha Loves You channel. Oh my god, that was so much fun. It's so expensive. Where's your mask? <laughs> you know it's going to be ping-ponging in my head the rest of the day, right? Okay. Something. Bear. That's bear. a little rough right there but you know maybe a little bit of rough will be good the wire will have something to cling to all right there how's that happy now jeez thank you jeez. <sighs> but you know i gotta test it right he's right it's already tried <laughs> and you know I thought about that right because of that blue chemical stuff I know it's not probably the best for my lungs to be sucking in oh man I love it I love it I love it will that come off it will if I dig at it. Okay, that's good to know too. Okay, now one side's more dry than the other side. Let's see. tweezers because you know I will. Okay. Oh my gosh, guys. This is just so exciting. I think what I might even do is put a thing on the wall to hold my small fan. Because on this card table, and even though it is a larger than normal card table, when I used to do shows, uh, what did you do for shows? When you go sell shit? I think I'm gonna, um, put a little shelf here so the fan can... Blue. This thing ain't going nowhere. Except now my um oh shit. I fucking got glue on it. My soda light looks like something else. What I don't know. Whew. Okay, I got it. Job, huh? Okay, <laughs> bless your heart. And you know, I know sister was right this morning. <laughs> I had a phone call. Okay, I'm back. I know sister, you know, Carter Eats was right. And sometimes it's just so, I don't know what it is, but I have to get out of that. I mean, I've made, what, 10,000 videos. 
you think it wouldn't bother me anymore to go live, but sometimes it just does. So I'm going to get out of that. Okay, it feels pretty good, guys. You know what I wish I had? i got to put that on my shopping list. Some bezel. So just imagine if this was metal. And you know the people that do metal smithing? And metal smithing, for those of you who don't know, you know the big, huge Indian pieces with the metal and it's holding the piece snugly in? That's metal. You have to take the bezel, you put it on the flat sheet of sterling, usually, and then in the corner here you put solder. <laughs> and when you run the fire on it, the solder melts and it joins these two pieces. And then you take a, a, um, a witch jigger tool and you actually like hammer it around in place, kind of, sort of, sort of. And, um, and that's how the, everything holds together. So, bezel, except it would be just, you know, this, this thick. And I would take that bezel wire and put it all the way around the bottom and then wrap on top and around it. That would be the shit. Okay, no more glue is oozing out. Thank God. Oh, I just love it. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have amethyst to your upper whatever that is. Amethyst, amazonite, black tourmaline with mica, rose quartz, and sodalite. This is what I have daydreamed of doing probably 40 years. Oh, so wonderful to finally know before I die. So help a lady have a good <laughs> before I die. Oh, man. See, now, if I were going to be sitting here dunking this in front of you, I would take that bezel wire or a nice thick piece of silver wire it doesn't have to be sterling and I would run it through there and then do some loop de loop shit or whatever and then I'd put a weave on top of that join it all together and then dangle it into the tank of sterling silver liquid blue stuff and it would turn all the silver silver more silver and then also whatever design I use on here for the magnetic um, liquid stuff that I can't think of right now because I'm still so excited. Uh, the magnetic paint. You put that on there. On top of your design. You lower it in the blue stuff. And the sterling silver will coat the black silver or it'll coat the black copper, whichever tank it's in. See, and that's another thing. I need to get a, another tank. I need to buy containers to put those three bottles of liquid Good stuff in and my separate bottle of the blue stuff for one I need one for copper one for silver and 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 oh, so, did I say this exciting I, don't know. I know you guys are gonna get sick of hearing but I'm so excited hopefully this paper will just solder off see that's why I tested it First, I tested the glue on the glass. Yeah, but I tested it on the glass so I didn't put the baking soda on it. And I thought maybe I could scrape it off the glass with a blade and have it come off straight so I wouldn't need the paper. And though the, the glue does come off, I need to try that next. Because once the glue is dry, it should just be pretty much clear. So, that's my thing to do later. See, because really in between right there, you just see it's kind of milky looking. See? And where that milky looking thing is, that's the glue. I would have put black magnetic paint there, and it, that bit right there would have turned silver or copper. Well, let's move to the other table. Get on some wire. Okay, you guys, let's go. I'm going to leave 
her rent shank here and then all this other stuff right here. And let's move to the wire reading section of the table, please. And then, you know the other stuff. Okay, so check this out. So, like, if I knew you like big stuff like I do, I would just use one of these. And yes, I would. Uh, depending on if you're a healer, I would probably put it down. If you're not a healer, I would probably put it up. So the energy would go up to you. But if you're a healer, I would fix this with probably a little bracket. So just imagine this with copper around here and the little thing that goes there, right? So you can detach it from your necklace, use it on your customers, and put it back. Okay. And then I would put this glue system that I just used, put the black magnetic paint on it, and dunk it to turn the black magnetic paint in whatever design I put on there, copper or silver. Okay. That's what I look forward to making a lot of. So just imagine this, LSP, with beautiful little crystals here, the co you know, the chakra, or whatever you want. And over here, as many as you like. Put my, white, uh, uh, put my magnetic paint on it, dunk it, rinse it off in baking soda and water. And then when it's all copperized and butamus, then I would probably make the base or, you know, all together, whatever, I don't know. Let it hang, and then... Even after all of that, you know I gotta have some wire wrap on there someplace, right? So probably around, okay, if it's hanging this way, this would be the base, right? I would make a base with the copper and put a little tiny baby lip on it, put a nice size O-ring on it, and then that ring would probably have some sort of simple uh, design, wire wrap design. Hmm. Can you imagine? Oh, the things, oh, my mind is, has held on to for all these years. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, I'm going to try to stop saying that, you guys. Sorry. I'm just so excited to be doing something new. If you only knew. If you only knew, okay? Because, you know, in my head, my office doesn't look like this. In my head, I have a hanging... I have my money plant on all four corners. Big, huge pictures of the designers that I love to follow. And, uh, do I have any in here? I do, I do. Look at that. Big, thick wire designs. This is aluminum. So, if I had some of the, do I? I don't think so. Even if I had some of this in silver. Wait, I, did she say she likes gunmetal? See, I don't like gunmetal. This is gunmetal. It's not silver, silver. So I ordered silver, silver, and they sent me this. And I'm like, okay, spirit, well, you just got to help me create something with that because I don't like it, but maybe somebody else does. And I'm pretty sure Mother Sister does, but I don't want that on this piece. I want bright, 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 bright silver on this piece. So even even with this, you see how aluminum is? That's why I want to start working with it a lot. Once I find the distributor, give me copper and not brass color. You know, brass is a darker, a little bit uh, orangey, darker uh, color than uh, copper. But even with this, you know, that I would wrap somehow around this, and then even paint this with the uh, black magnetic paint, dunk it so then my piece is nice and chunky and fat, beautiful like me. <laughs> and dunk it. Find a nice big thick, I don't know, probably five millimeter. Uh, there you go, a Greer. Uh, chain, snake chain, because you know, snake chain is smooth, it can go with anything. And wrap it up. <laughs> oh, 
sugar am I? I don't know. Am I on the wrong hand? I can't be. It's ambidextrous. Protection. Yeah, because you know, you know, a lot of groups way back when, when I joined my first wire weave Yahoo group. No offense to my lighter skinned sh sisters, but all them white ladies were complaining because back then there weren't a lot of black people in groups, just me, uh, about you know the carpal tunnel thing. So I'm like, hey, I'm not gonna go there this lifetime, okay? I got other issues. That doesn't need to be one, okay, boo boo. Yeah, and I took the metal thing out, because that metal thing, I can't bend, and sometimes I need to bend. So I took the metal thing of a jiggy dale out. I right, know, you go over there. You come on over here, sister, sister. And grab on. Grab on really good. And you grab on really good. Go down. So, like, for the first hour, I wear it nice and tight. And then, when I start feeling my heart beat, I loosen it. <laughs> okay. So, and you know what? I even might... I, I even might... I might even... Uh, I might even... Uh, put some shine. Well, like, on this one, because it's, like, dull now. I've been fooling around. So, I'm, it, i i got to find my buffer. Yeah, the nail buffer with the four sides, one of those, and buff buff that out. Or my um, bzz, bzz, my Dremel, Dremel, however you want to pronounce it. <laughs> okay, come on, Tosh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Now, do I want to use the usual 22, 28? If I did, oh, you know what? Look, this is my new design. I'm learning. Maybe that would work. Maybe I just need to finish it. Okay, so check it out. Oh, and for those of you that like it chunky, don't say I never make nothing for your butt. You don't buy it. Yeah, so many people. Make something chunky. Make something chunky. I made this two weeks ago. I still have it. Why? See, because I'm big. I'm so on me. It doesn't look that big. If you were Snow White, it would look huge. <laughs> <laughs> no offense to anyone. And this is my new design I'm working on. Yeah, doesn't it remind you of little braids? It reminds me of, of plaits. Uh, let's see. Okay, that would look good on there, but I don't want to open windows on this one. Well, not as open as that. Okay. All right. I still have a house bomb. Okay, let's go. Um, decision, decision. Uh, what was the other one I did recently? Ah, yeah, that one worked. Okay. And it's fast. Okay. I won't do the 6-1. I'll do the 3-3. Three, three. There we go. Uh, that's going to fit around there the first time nicely, so let's cut that off. Remember, Tasha, it's a ring, not a pendant. That's good, that's good, that's good. Let's go, let's go. Okay. 
let me see if I do it. Okay, I could do the three three on the bottom, and then I could do. I could even put the six one on top. Oh, I could put the six one on the bottom, and I put the three three on top. Okay, okay, that's good. That's good. Let's see. So, uh, this is the three three. See this phone? I gotta get a new phone, y'all. I hate this not being able to uh, focus fast thing. Therefore, my pictures are, well, not what I want them to be. I'll put it that way. Um, oh, maybe that one, huh? Okay, so you still can't see it very good. Damn. That's okay. That's okay. God's going to bless me with a new phone, too. Oh, LSP, did you see my new, um, my new thingamajigger? Look, I'm so excited. <laughs> and by tonight, I'm going to have another one of these made. <laughs> oh, this is so freaking exciting. Except, yeah, it should be, it's not, yeah, it's, mm -hmm. oh, well, it's my first one. Yeah, I got to fix that. But see, it's not straight all the way down the middle, all the way around. But with it on, I don't think anybody would notice. <laughs> not even right there. That's okay. Next one will be better. The next one will be better. Oh, man. I cannot wait to open the door. And have that handsome Amazon guy be at my door. Uh, I don't know who they have to bring in my area now, but finally they actually knock on the door. They don't just leave the package and take a picture of it and say, see, it was delivered. And then I take another picture of my empty porch and say, to whose address? And then I tweet them and say, why do you have them send us a picture of something on our porch? Wait till I get to the motherfucking door. Really? I mean, I know sometimes it takes me a minute, but what, what, you at work. Give me a break. I'm just going to be leaving my stuff laying there. Oh, I only need three, huh? Oh, maybe that's a sign. Maybe I need two. If I do, let me see if I do two, two. No, then I would have to have five because I need the, the middle one to wrap to the next one up or the next one down. So... Yeah, we'll stick with that. We'll stick with the um, two-two. I'll put you over there for late. Okay, okay. Let's get some twenty-two. Let's get some twenty-two, y'all. Let's get some twenty-two. Let's get some twenty-eight, y'all. This is twenty-eight. And yeah, you see how thin that is? Yeah. And a lot of people wrap with thirty. I'm not going there. I need to be able to see the wire that I'm wrapping. Okay. And this wire, since it's on this spool, even if I were just to pull it off, it would be Shirley Temple Curls. I, I, you know, I don't know. The copper doesn't do that. When I pull the copper off, the copper just is pretty much straight. Anyway. Let me shut up and be grateful because two weeks ago I didn't have no wire. And I know I'm put my coffee here and eat some lunch. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait. Okay, spirits, go ahead. Manifest my kit. And then those pieces, you know, are going to start at $80 minimum. And then depending on whatever crystals you want, then that's how that's how I do. If you want an inexpensive crystal, seventy dollars minimum. Because you gotta remember, I'm a, I'm gonna get off of here in thirty minutes, and if you're on Tasha's Touch Healing Jewelry Instagram, you'll see the progress. See, and I always have to do that. So now, and then you'll see how it goes. 
I need to get some little uh, O-rings that screw in and then I'm going to line my plastic tables with that and then run my wire through there so then I don't have to constantly do that and have it unravel itself, you know? I know, I know, I know. All the other ladies have those cute little bins that your wire's in. Uh, uh, usually are like mounted to the wall or something so when you pull the wire it pretty much comes off straight. But this silver wire Man, is it? Mmm. But that's alright. It gives me something to do, huh? I'm in my second childhood. I got plenty of time. At least another 75 years. Yeah, I told God I'd, I'd like to die probably, possibly, at, you know, somewhere around uh, 200. I like having skin. I don't care that it's bumpy and lumpy and curvy and stretch marky and stuff like that. Better than not having, uh, better than um, a lot of other people have it. But hey, I love me. This is it. You got eyebrows, no eyebrows, you see. Hair combed, not hair combed. <laughs> okay, for a minute on my Tasha Love You channel, I was getting really bad. I mean, I would wake up with shit still in my eyes, crust on my mouth and everything, <laughs> just make my videos. See, so I'm telling myself, if I could do that, I could go live every day. You know. Alright, get over it. <clears throat> See? Damn. <sighs> I hated that Sprint bill, so I went to T-Mobile. I love having my $50 a month bill, but this phone, mm, oh well. See, now when I get my electroforming kit and I make my first few pieces and they sell instantly, then I will go get me uh, the Galaxy something 10 plus, you know, the $900 phone. That one. And then I'll be on here doing tutorials. Oh, excuse me. I don't want to call mine tutorials. I want to call mine not tutorials. There's always a method to the madness. Think about it. Uh, and go back to doing my newbies with jewelry. Newbies to jewelry videos. Where I don't tell you how to do things. I tell you how to look at things that you didn't look at before. Like you have to take your caliper and measure the inside of things, a newbie would just go buy wire. But did you know that pearls, you have to have a 28 or 30 gauge wire, not your regular 20 or 22 gauge wire. It won't fit through the real pearl holes. Another way to know if your pearls are real, a regular wire like this one is not going to fit. Now, though nowadays some companies are making bigger holes in pearls, That's one way of possibly knowing if pearls are really real. And yes, you got to pay an extra larger price for anything pearls coming from Tasha's Touch. See, this is just a really fast stitch. So I said, let me start with this one. I'll put this one towards uh, the bottom of the piece. So this one is going to go here all the way around. And then I'll probably put another one here. See what I mean? And then, and then everything is tightened down, probably that much epoxy uh, to make sure everything's held together. If you bang it, it's not going to fall off the wire, that is. I know them rocks aren't going, I know these rocks aren't going anywhere with this glue. Um, and then I'll put another one on top, and then I'll epoxy it to the shank. And mother sister will be happy, 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 happy. <laughs> Emma. I know, I'm so happy you think I had chicken today, huh? I didn't. Yet. <laughs> Zach Choi, that's his name. Oh, 
it's so nice to see somebody else eat chicken as much as I do. And he's he's just a little dog with his little ASMR self. And then why is it we always got to know so much about other people's business? You can't even handle your own dang business. And you, what does his voice sound like? Oh, he, who cares? He's making a million dollars a month off of us watching his video. I could give two fucks less what his voice sounds like. You know? I do appreciate him for all the people he does bring together, like uh, Nick Akata Avocado and Trisha Paytas. You know? That was really nice. And, uh, just love watching him eat chicken. <laughs> and crunching his hash browns. And did you see, uh, LSP, did you, do you watch other mukbangs? Uh, he ate that hot, the world's hottest chili chip. And it has a warning on it, you could have a heart attack and die and shit on it. Yeah, he ate that. Didn't drink anything for five minutes. And I'm like, your balls must be really big. Yeah. They must be. And even though his face was turning red, his lips were red, his his nose was red. You could see his lips getting thicker and thicker and thicker. Looked like he was half black. No offense. And, um... Wow, poor guy. <laughs> he stood through it all. But apparently, he just has that body metabolism that can take that, uh, you know, spice. Because everybody else we know was uh, literally a lot of people went to the hospital over that shit. Why would you do that to yourself? Even them freaking hot noodles. Why would you do that? Don't you like living? I love living. I love the skin I'm in. Okay? I ain't have to fuck up my digestive tract, my booty hole. None of that. I'm not out to hurt Tasha. Not whatsoever. No. Now I can hear you saying, Natasha, you started in the middle. What are you going to do with the other side? Turn it around and finish the other side. Which is easier because when you have deal with long... Now you got to remember, these wires are probably, what, a foot and a half? Yeah. And uh, sometimes I do wrapping wires this long, d depending on how big, you know, the main piece is. Okay? So even for this one, that's a lot of wire. That's like 100 feet of wire. So the base wires for that were about this long. So depending on the stitch, you can start here and then just push it down. And sometimes you can't. This one, sometimes I get a little tight and, okay, let's see. Okay, this, is, this one's kind of loose. I could push it down a little bit. See? But sometimes, if you, especially if you're watching a movie and you get all into the movie and your hand gets tighter, the wire, on the wire gets tighter, 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 you can't just pull it down. So that's why I just start at the middle. And you see how the wires are going, Bleh! yeah, well, that's not fun. So we just let it slide and stay down here, <laughs> closer to the end, and then they won't be, you know, yes, competitive eaters. Like uh, Sto Matt Stoney, and he's a he's a cute little dog himself. But I'm like, really? You just like swallowing food? I'm thinking if I swallow even a hot dog, if I just swallow three bites, man, I that one hot dog that would fill me up. <laughs> now back in the day, I could eat like those Korean people, but no, I promised myself I was never gonna go there again. That's that's a da that was a dangerous life for me. That you know, food was my drug of choice. Happy, sad, not not sky blue, sky black, gray, blue, whatever, in green, don't matter. I would get the hot, the triple hot, the double hot ones. Girl, you better than me. What I'm gonna try to do today is the uh, br uh, black noodle. Black noodles, right? Black bean noodle. Okay, I'm back. So RDR Food said that he uh, um, liked it, in addition to other people. But sometimes I think other people are just being nice because they're in front of the camera, and I trust him. He ain't going to just be nice because he want to be nice, you know. Because he's getting paid. He has like 35,000 subs now. Anyway, 
so I went and found it on Amazon, and it was like, and the packs are huge. There's not little Top Ramen packs that are, you know, like this. No, they're huge. It's one meal in your bowl. So that was cool, too, for like $9 or something crazy. And I said, okay, well, one of these days I'm going to do that. So I think today is the day, y'all. I'm going to do my black bean noodles with, yeah, because, you know, I have to test that out. Because I don't want to be on camera either trying to fake it. <laughs> you know, it was good. I loved it. Kind of bland, so I had to put some hot sauce up in there. You know, don't you love it? Isn't he precious? Oh my god. And have you seen one of his not YouTube video um contests? Oh my god, you know he's like second in the world or something like that, right? Making bank, of course. He's so funny. And I'm like, I wanna yell at it at the screen funny if you unwrapped all the packages first and lined your shit up, then it wouldn't take time off the clock from you eating or swallowing. <laughs> And I thought, you know, I'm going to write to him. Never mind. I ain't, he can go read that shit. All right, let me just shut up my own business. Stop changing, folks. He knows what he's doing. He's been doing it for years. Oh, my goodness. It's a beautiful day. It is like 70 degrees here, sister. Oh, good. Okay. But see, my, your hot might not be my hot. And, my, and your hot might be, you know, five jalapenos, like those chips. The jalapeno chips that I got a whole case of. I love those chips. <laughs> um, it said jalapeno, and when I bought a sandwich from, I don't know, uh, whatever sandwich place, I don't know, and they sent this with my, with my sandwich, and I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Why in the hell would I order some jalapeno? Okay, well, let's just try it. And it was warm. But it wasn't, it's not unbearable. That's why I bought a whole case of these. <laughs> my favorite. Because it's like kettle chips. They're nice and thick, but not too thick to break my dentures. You know. And that's, that's doable. I can now eat those without sweating anymore. But I thought, I'm not going to spend money on something I might not be able to digest. And then I would be like them other people. And I didn't know people who eat hot stuff, it comes out, it goes in hot and it comes out hot. I did I didn't I, I don't eat hot shit, okay? I don't eat hot shit. So I didn't know your booty hole hurts and your mouth hurts and your nose is red and sweaty and blah 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 blah. Oh please, that's too much to be trying to enjoy food. I'm <laughs> supposed to enjoy our food. Not not sweat and have to take a go cold shower afterwards. But anyway, one of these days, I'll try something different and different and different. Not no hot stuff, though. Not no hot stuff. I mean, look at this. It took me a whole year just to try chicken and cheese. <laughs> which I love. Which I love. Now. <laughs> That's what I should have. I should have the chicken and cheese with my half of uh, black bean noodles. That's what I should do. And then, no, even better, I need to make my own cheese sauce, because that fake cheese, I'm trying to do a teeny bit better, you know, a teeny, teeny, teeny bit. I know I'm not going to stop eating uh, most fast food. God already told me, you can't eat from there, you can't eat from there. I'm okay, cool. That's fair. Um, but to eat that hot stuff, and then... Be uncomfortable for several hours? Oh, hell no. That ain't never happening here. I want to be comfortable enough to, to get that Thanksgiving full stomach feeling and want to go to sleep. And that's another bad habit I've allowed myself to get in. So now instead, I do a very slow walk around the apartment. Because I will go straight to sleep and not get anything made. I'll be getting up at midnight making stuff, you know? <laughs> no, I didn't know. Because my brother, nobody's married to anybody black in my family. So, um, even I married two Latins. Yeah, anyway, another story. That's on the Tasha Loves You channel. 
And they, you know, of course, just like any good wife, I'd give my husband his entire jar of jalapenos and his whatever, whatever, whatever on top of 10 tortillas. The other one was on top of 10 plantains. Uh, and he said, oh, 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 mommy, oh, mommy. I'm like, what are you, what's wrong? He said, oh, my culo is está muy caliente. And I'm like, what? Your poop comes out hot and it goes in hot? That's stupid. I'm not being I'm in the yeah, I know it probably tastes really good, blah blah blah. No, I'm good. I'm not having uncomfortable and uncomfortable. And even my brother in law, I'm like, you mean when you go number two it oh um, no, I'm good, no. <laughs> and even and that's why I don't do a lot of mukbangs anymore. Even when I do eat, I don't wear no clothes. I have to I put on something funny on my big screen. You know, I got my window open, I got my air circulating, I got my incense going. And I'm bucket naked because nobody can see me, you know, from here. I'm, I'm like the tallest point on the property. And uh, and there's no windows facing me, so oh, that one. But they never open their curtains, and she never opens her curtain. Anyway, yeah, mm -mm. I'm, I'm going to be comfortable all my life. I was never one of those women who wore dresses tight because Mama said that's going to cut off circulation somewhere. That means your body is going to act different. Didn't want my body acting any different than it's supposed to be acting, so I never did nothing. You know, like my sister, she wear jeans two sizes too small. Leaves the top button unbuttoned. <laughs> That's just dumb to me. That's just dumb. If I can't be comfortable, it's not going to happen. Okay, so let's see what, let me show you some progress. Ooh, I've gotten a whole two inches done. Isn't that nice? See, i got to go back to my old Samsung. Okay, I just need a better phone than this one. Now I can take that little tail off that I began with. Where am I? Yeah, little tail right there. So let's wrap it up, let's wrap it up, let's go. Let's go. Let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. Let's go. <laughs> you know, you'll be amazed how many people. You can just sit there all day and do that. Uh -huh. If I if I didn't have to get up to go pee, I probably wouldn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. That's bad for circulation. Yada, yada, yada. I get up now. That's why I got a dog. I have to get up and go do something. If nothing else, take her outside to go pee. Okay, wires, come on, stay straight. Okay, look, Betty Boot, why don't you just go like that? And why don't you go like that? Never mind. So I can rap faster. So I can rap faster. you know what if I did a wire wrap underneath I could probably fix it to where it could be a detachable ring anywho life is wonderful and exciting oh sister do you know who Trisha Paytas is Trisha Paytas is now all the, the gay people are getting on her for coming out now as transgender. Why you gotta mind somebody else's business? You know, if it is an act, so what? It's her life. If it's not an act, so what? It's her life. Thank you. I'm, you know, I just don't have time to be minding anybody else's business but my own. If she says she's that, so what? She says she's a lot of things and she lied, so what? I don't pay her mortgage. I don't, you know, rent, whatever. I don't buy her Taco Bell. I could care less. If that's her truth, so be it. Come on, straighten out. You're starting to get bunchy there. You're starting to get bunchy. Come on, straighten out. You're not supposed to be lumpy bumpy. What have I done? That's the time you got to straighten the wire, see? Newbies to jewelry, always straighten your lines. Make sure everything's nice and straight, push tight, nice and straight, push tight. 
<laughs> you move. Thank you. People are crazy, sister. Even, um, what's his name? Uh, oh, and I love him to bits and pieces. Uh, Jaime. Uh, no. Uh, see right there, I'm going to be looking on the phone, but I can't look on the phone. His name starts with a J and Eats is in his title. <laughs> um, yesterday he did a video saying, yeah, see, people think I'm, I'm just being crazy because he did a, a mukbang with no shirt on. Because somebody put something in his comments. And he's a wonderful, wonderful guy. I've been watching him ever for, since he first started almost a year ago, I think. Because he's just a, you know, he eats in his kitchen. And there's kids running around and da da da, da. Okay, sister, sister, you have a good day. And thanks for reminding me. Now that I got some clippers, I need to cut mine down. Try and look sexy like you. Have a good day. See you on, uh, oh no, when you make a video today, it won't go so tomorrow. Okay, well, I'll see you later today in any case. Uh, okay, I'm just going to get a little bit of this done, and then we're going to go. So I can eat something and go for a walk. Go for a walk and then eat something, yeah. See, see now, don't forget, all of this is going to be, thank you, you too, sister. So, when I get it all finished, then I will hook it onto something to begin with, wrap it around, snug, 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 push, push, poke, poke, wrap, wrap, probably wrap once or twice around one of these stones, and make sure everything is all nice and snug, and then I'll finish it off however I'm going to finish it off add a drop of epoxy to make sure it doesn't come apart and then start round two round two oh god it's such a beautiful day and I'm going to go get out in it let me see you see I've been on for two hours you guys listen to me babble for two hours and I greatly appreciate you for it I'm so excited I can't wait to get my electroforming kit and, uh, what is her name? And Enchanted Leaves, thank you, thank you, thank you for putting the kit together. So we could just buy the kit and not have to go buy the each and everything one by one by one by one. So, I'm gonna go get me something to eat. I mean, go for a walk, get me something to eat. Take a shower. And then come back and finish this. If you're on Tasha's Touch Healing Jewelry Instagram, you'll see the updates. Okay, see so you're getting bunchy again. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Stay down. Make sure it's nice and flat. And you'll be able to see halfway decent pictures on Instagram. Can't wait to get the kit. Can't wait to get a new phone. Or, yeah, no, just a new phone would be good. I don't need a fancy foo foo camera. Or nothing. Nothing like that. I like it like that. Keep it straight, push it down. Keep it straight and push it down. Cool beans. Well, there you go. There you have it. There it be. Go be good to yourself first. Know that I love you, love you, love you. I love you like a fat kid love cake. <laughs> there. Okay, it's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Oh, nice, simple. That'll make a nice 
uh, border for a ring. I think she's going to be very pleased with that. I think so. So, I'm going to go shake, shower, shine, and go for, go for a walk, shower, and eat. And I will be back on later. And in the meantime, in between time, please don't forget to be good to yourself first. As a matter of fact, hang up from here, watch another YouTube video of mine, subscribe, and go be good to just you, okay? Let me start this so I can have some music while I am bubble bathing. Ah, I love you. Go be good to you guys. Go be good to yourself. Bye, 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 bye. Mwah. Goodbye, guys. Love you. <laughs>